Now at this time we're going to start the program by calling on, <clears throat> as you know, Jamaicans are from all over the world. No matter where you go in the world, you will find them. So here you have this Jamaican couple from Montego Bay, Jamaica, who flew all the way on Air Jamaica or some banana boat to Canada. And when they got to Canada, they um, had this son. And this son came back to the United States fully aware of his Jamaican heritage and is now pastoring Fountainside Church of God. Could you put your hands together as our pastor, Pastor Jerome McLeod, comes to give us an invocation. And this is traditional, so don't panic. In fact, in 1834, the first time it was celebrated up until 1962 in Jamaica, uh, Pastor McLeod, the how it was celebrated was as follows that Jamaicans would put on their best and then they would get together with all the church leaders and the churches would ring their bells from one tip of the island to the other tip of the island in celebration of our emancipation. Amen? So this is traditional to have a man of God come and speak to us. God, put your hands together as he comes. Thank you all. Let us just bow our heads as we pray today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gathering, that we can come together to celebrate your faithfulness, your goodness towards us all. We thank you today for what you have done and what you are going to do in this event as we remember and celebrate the emancipation in our lives. We also want to thank you today for Mayor Messam and all the leaders of Miramar who you have set to lead us and to guide us oh God, throughout this year and the years to come. And we thank you for the island of Jamaica and all the other Caribbean islands. For we remember the words that you spoke to Israel. You said, I love you and I did not choose you because you were the greatest in numbers, but because you were the least. And indeed, you've raised us up to impact the world globally. And we thank you for these things. Bless this time as we celebrate. All of this in Jesus' name we all say. Amen. Amen. Thank you so very much, Pastor. And ladies and gentlemen, could you give a could you stand to your feet and give a thunderous round of applause as the mayor of the great city of Miramar and his wife Angela Messon comes to the podium at this time. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Miramar. And good evening to the Jamaican diaspora. I'm Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam, and I'm joined with First Lady Angela, and we would like to formally welcome you to the city of Miramar for the annual Jamaica Emancipence event held here in the city of Miramar. I started the event about four years ago um, to not only to remember our history as well as to celebrate the independence of Jamaica with Miramar having one of the largest diasporan communities out in the, in the world um, outside of Jamaica. Um, so we combined the two recognition events to honor the culture of Jamaica and to celebrate the independence and to keep the culture and the history alive. That's why we encourage children to be brought to the event because growing up in America, sometimes the culture gets lost and forgotten. So it's great to see so many youth here at the event. So, at this time, I would like to recognize the Miramar City Commission and elected officials um, that are present here today. Um, and starting out with um, Vice Mayor Alexandra Davis. And if I introduce you, if you can come to the podium. <laughs> Commissioner Yvette Colburn. Commissioner Maxwell 
P. Chambers. And absent is Commissioner Winston Barnes. Now, as many of you may know, or may not know, the city of Myanmar, I think, is the only city in the entire country that has an elected body that is 100% of Jamaican heritage or descent. And maybe in the world outside of Jamaica. So, uh, we'd like to have, provide an opportunity for each member present to extend brief greetings um, to the residents and the visitors um, to our fair city um, so that we can um, just show um, our appreciation for you sharing with the city of Miramar on um, this uh, august occasion in the Jamaican community. I'm Vice Mayor. Thank you, Mayor Bessa. Good evening, everybody. Yes. Having a good time? All right, it don't turn up yet, you know. Let me tell you time. You know, it's good to be here. I'm always happy to celebrate our heritage, which is Jamaican. In fact, I really can't forget because I was born the year we became independent. And so, even though I'm telling you my age, I certainly <laughs> celebrate the fact that uh, Jamaica got its independence 57 years ago. And so as we celebrate today, and we're going to celebrate Jamaican independence in this independence. Yes. <laughs> and, um, you know, I certainly appreciate uh, Mayor Messam bringing this event to the city. It means that, you know, we can all come together, learn about our rich heritage, and those who are not from our island can also learn about why we steer so. Right? <laughs> Let's say we're looking for Twitalawa. And that's why. All right, so enjoy yourself. I'm going to give the mic over to our Commissioner Coburn. Hello, everyone. Hello. Wonderful, wonderful. First, I, first and foremost, I just want to thank our mayor for hosting this event here in the city of Miramar. We have so much to be proud of in the city of Miramar. We are here celebrating emancipation here in Miramar, Jamaica holiday here in Miramar, and we should all be very proud of that. Thank you, Mayor. Um, it's always an honor um, to see all of you, so thank you so very much. I was born in Panama. Yes, we're all descendant from Jamaica. My father was born in Jamaica, and my grandfather, my mother's side, was born in Jamaica. Um, who went to Panama um, to work on the Panama Canal, and that's how <laughs> that's how um, that's how Bowage from Jamaica here. A Heinz girl. But <laughs> yes, a Heinz girl. <laughs> but um, it, yes, it is so important. Programs like this is extremely important because although I did not live in Jamaica, it is abroad that I learned all the culture of Jamaica. Amen. So this is awesome. Thank you all for being here. Good evening, everyone. Yes, sir. Except now, my name is. <laughs> and pick on me earlier. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, uh, there's a lot of competition going on tonight. I'm competing with Vice Mayor for Independent Year, 1962. So, I don't know which one we are a little bit younger, but <laughs> I, I came after the British, got kicked out. Um, anyway, I'm so proud to be here, proud to represent my country, proud to represent the city of Miramar. And one of the things that I'm very proud of is there's so much respect and admiration from other island, other people, other groups. They love and respect Jamaicans and Jamaica. And I'm very grateful for that. And I hope I can continue to earn the respect of all those people who are here and not here from other places, like my good friend here from America. Uh, Commissioner, Vice Mayor, the great city of West Park, and so forth. And you know, that's, that's something I'm grateful for. I, I was walking here and thinking that it, it's um, people appreciate Jamaicans so much and give us love and support right here in the city of Miramar and everywhere we go and everywhere we went. Uh, and I'm very, very deeply grateful for that. So, all I know people here in Jamaica and me talk and I'm love, thank you so much for all the love and support that they're always giving to us and the acknowledgement and the accomplishment that Jamaicans right across the world I've given to the world. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for hosting this event. And it's a pleasure to be here. And I should say, all my children were born here, but guess what? They have 
Jamaican our spring, so I'm grateful. Then we're gonna be president in some of All right, let's give the Miramar City Commission a round of applause. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming out to share this event with the community. And I'm going to read this, just this brief um, post, just to give some perspective of the gravity of the shoulders we stand on. And it's so, it's so fitting because when you think about Africans who were enslaved in the Western Hemisphere, whether it was in the Caribbean, South America, or North America, some similar experiences. And it's so important that our youth understand, and even some of the adults who may not necessarily have studied the history to kind of understand. So as a descendant of Jamaican parents, I could not let today pass without extending a happy Emancipation Day to the island of Jamaica and the Jamaican diaspora. Please take a moment to remember that on this day, August 1st, 1838, our ancestors finally won the war against slavery. So many were murdered, so many were tortured, so many were beaten, but they never gave up fighting and praying that one day if not them, their children would be born free. The battle against mental slavery, however, still needs to be won. Let us pause and breathe a prayer for all of our ancestors who toiled, who suffered, especially the many who were not even given a proper burial because they were considered rebels and ask that their souls find rest. Because our ancestors were not, were in, because our ancestors were enslaved but never accepted, because our ancestors were enslaved, but never accepted their slavery. And they paid the price with their blood, they paid the price with their sweat, they paid the price with their labor, their free labor, and they paid the price with their tears. Because of that sacrifice, Alawi, Alawuno, born free. You were born free because of their sacrifice, and we must never forget that. We stand upon their shoulders, and for that, may their souls rest in eternal glory. So let's give a big round of applause. Clap up on yourself for our ancestors. That is why we celebrate. So while we here in the diaspora, it's a very similar story to our African American brothers and sisters whose forefathers and mothers endured the same struggle here in these, or what would be known as these United States. So that's why we can never allow dissension and division to separate all of the African diaspora. Because the Jamaican diaspora is part of the African diaspora. So no matter what the challenges are, no matter what the dissensions are, no matter what the obstacles are. We are of good stock because we are the descendants that survived the Middle Passage. We have family, four parents that died on those ships that never saw land, fed to the sharks. So for you to sit here today means that not only are 
you're blessed. But you have favor. And because of that blessing and because of that favoring, we owe it to the legacy of our four fathers and mothers to honor God who protected them, who survived, to honor our legacy, our history, our names that we may never know that we had, our cultures and way of life that we never knew or ever experienced, the royalty that many of you may be direct lineage of, who never had an idea that your foreparents were kings of dynasties. So we must always remember and teach our children that not only are we are blessed, but we are of good stock. So as you enjoy the program this evening, let's celebrate, let's honor, and have a great time. And don't let me be the first don't let Angela be the first on the dance floor when the party starts, okay? All right? All right. Well, Mr. Mayor, you know what? I just want to let everyone know that I thank God for Jamaicans every day. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I have one love right here. And my kids as well. So thanks to... Happy Independence and Emancipation, and we're gonna celebrate tonight. But Wayne will be the first on the dance floor. <laughs> Enjoy the program. God bless you. God keep you is our prayer. And again, I'd like to thank my colleagues for coming this evening, and thank each of you for coming to celebrate Jamaica Emancipation. Have a wonderful program this evening, and see you in a few with our awards. Thank you. It's indeed an honor tonight for me to introduce to someone to present to others Bobby Rose. Now Bobby Rose tonight is, play, is here um, as a vocalist with the Willis Stewart and Friends. But like every Jamaican, he has multiple jobs. No matter what event you go to, he's singing with whatever band is there. So um, he's here tonight, you know, this is his fourth gig for the day. So we're going to ask Bobby if Bobby would come at this time and lead us as only an artist can do in the American National Anthem first, right? And then, and then in the Jamaican National Anthem. Put your hands together as Bobby comes.
There is no area which to me concerns the most talented people in the world, but especially in the arts. Put your hands together again for Bobby. All they want to do is to be on Facebook, mm? Twitter, social media. Mm. Anyway, I come in from fur to see everybody and to greet all of you. By the way, we have non Jamaicans in the room. Aha, uh -huh, great. Wonderful, welcome. But I'd like to give you a little advice. Try to sit down beside a Jamaican. So when you don't understand the lingo, you ask them say. What you supposed to say? What she said. What she said. You cannot say, I don't understand. Or what is she saying? Not this evening. What you supposed to say? What she said. she say? Or where she has say? Or me no understand. Eh? I wish she just said, all right? Good. <laughs> Clap on yourself now. Clap on yourself, man. And this is... Amazing. Put your hands together again for her. You know? We have some very important people here tonight, besides our great mayor, his wife, his family, and the commissioners and um, deputy mayor. We also have your commissioner from um, the city of West Park, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, I think, and if you want, but, sorry, I apologize. You see, I might get in trouble. Could you come here, Mr. Vice Mayor? Could you put your hands together? for the city of West Park. I know that this is an event for Miramar residents, but you know the West Park people, them all, them beg, beg, and no, no, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, Mr. Vice Mayor, no, 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 no. He's here because he, he always supports us and we always support the city of West Park. Thank you so very much, Mr. Vice Mayor. But besides him, we also have some city employees here. Could you put your hands together for all the city employees who day in and day out do so much for all of us. And, 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 and uh, there are some leaders in this city. I know I saw the police commissioner, the police commissioner here earlier. But there's one man that I'd like to recognize only because he has the most beautiful wife. The, 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 the assistant city manager, Mr. Whitty Whittingham. Would you stand so the people could see you? Or would your wife stand? Maybe your wife should stand. I turn over here to my far right. If you could come, make your way here this way. A man who needs no introduction. Mr. Wright, an attorney extraordinaire who is a partner at, one, at the largest uh, minority-owned law firm in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marlon here. Right, and Marlon, what are you running for, Marlon? I came across the border, across the wall from Miami Dade County. You know, the mayor trying to build a wall on the county line. And said that West Park will pay for it.
no, no. No, 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 I'm running for Miami-Dade County Commissioner, District 9, all the way in West Milan, in Southwest Miami-Dade County. In the communities of South Miami Heights and Richmond Heights and Country Walk, down in Kendall, where some of the Jamaicans are, um, they have to get a visa to come up to West Park and to Miramar. <laughs> but happy Emancipation Day, everybody. Enjoy yourself. Good night, everybody. Peace of the Lord be with you all. My name is Dennis Hines. I'm running for state representative for District 102. God bless you all. You may have seen write-ups in the Miami Herald, um, in the Sun Sentinel, about this amazing um, artist who has just um, blown up on the scene. His name is Mr. Uh, Mark Cameron, and Mark actually is a Jamaica College old boy, but that's not what's important. Right? Right. Um, but, but, but what's important about Mark is that he's a father who makes sure to include his son in everything that he does. And you may have seen some of the paintings that are outside lining the hallway while we're coming in. I'm going to give Mark just a brief opportunity because everything that we do as people of Caribbean descent, as Jamaicans, we do it so very well. And our artists are no exception to that. So I'm going to call on Mark. If Mark would come at this time, and give, could you put your hands together as Mark comes? I, my art reflects my journey over the years living here in America. Um, I do abstract impressionism, realism, and I have started teaching art. And um, it's something I like to do. Now, I was going to talk about my art, but um, I wrote a poem as well. And uh, which I think is very relevant. Um, it won't be long, very, very, very short, <laughs> Mr. Mayor. It's called Thanks to Our Heroes. I wore a fart, I need, a, need my glasses. In Jamaica, God bless, God bless land with such a rich brand. We love Kingston City to Portland's River Grand. St. Anne's and Blue Mountain's pure water we care so that all the parishes can get their fair share. Hot springs from St. Thomas cures all of our ills. We cherish... <laughs> Hot springs from St. Thomas cures all of our ills. We cherish the water that replaces most pills. We have the North Coast and Moby's white sands here and turquoise waters so pure and so clear, which makes it easy to immerse ourselves from morning to night without care. With all the natural resources we have, we should be jolly. We should never fight over political ideology. Marcus and Bogle lived and died as our heroes because they recognize that the fight for freedom is serious. Don't deny the rights of our sisters and brothers to create and enrich your unjust coppers. Respect the work we do so we can live, so that a fruitful life is ours to enjoy with much more to give. Out of many, we became one. And if we unite, we should be so strong. All the sacrifices made by our ancestors in this country of such a few have made us an example to the Gentile and even the Jew. The bold and proud people we are have made us an envy from very near and far. With dignity and honor, we must work to protect our independence and name so that our future descendants will never have to bear more debt or shame. Thank you. In closing, my art is outside, it's for sale. You know what I'm uh, I am Vice Mayor of West Park, but I am running to be State Rep of District 101, which includes East Miramar. All right, all right, boy. I didn't know I would be embarrassed this evening trying to dance, you know, so. 
I couldn't get as low as Maxine, but... Well, this portion of our program, before we get to the festivities and the live entertainment, is really an opportunity for the community to recognize um, individuals of the diaspora and on occasion those individuals that benefit the diaspora we like to recognize not that they do what they do for recognition but the bible says that we should give honor to those who are due honor right so that's what we will do and we are so proud of this year's recipients and we have four categories that we will be recognizing and if um, I know that my assistant likes to be behind the scenes but um, if we can have yes okay can we okay good 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 because I'm not sure which award is which and all right and I won't call you Vanna all right <laughs> our first award is the business award and the Business Award honors is in recognition of one who serves Jamaicans and the local community by making available services and our products that would be otherwise be difficult to attain or provide them in a very unique and special way. And the 2019 Planning Committee recognizes that this ongoing contribution by this company and exceptional service through her chiropractic practice exemplifies these ideas, ideals and as such we would like to congratulate Walker Chiropractic and Wellness Center which is right here in the city of Miramar and the business is doing well so well that there has been a recent expansion of the practice which means that the service must be good. So we are always proud in the city of Miramar that we always tout our Fortune 500 companies that we have here in the city of Miramar, which by the way is the most in South Florida. But we are especially proud of our small businesses because in Broward County, small businesses employ 90% of every Broward resident in our county. So small businesses are our economic engine, and we're proud to recognize Dr. Vanessa Walker from Walker Chiropractic and Wellness Center. Congratulations. Opportunity. I consider it a privilege and an honor to be able to have my practice in the city of Miramar. I grew up in Miramar, born in Jamaica, but grew up here in Miramar and never thought that this would be what's happening. So I'm grateful to have my practice here. Thank you for the recognition. Thank you to my family, my office manager, people who stand behind me all the time. This is not a one-man band. It's the community that has poured into me that I am grateful to pour back into. So we are expanding, right? Five years now in the city of Miramar, and I'm excited. I'm excited for the expansion. This is not a Walker chiropractic thing, but this is a God thing, and I'm grateful to be here in my city. Congratulations again to Walker Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And it's not just the services she provides, but she um, has turned, the family has turned the tragedy and their family into a blessing to the community um, with the foundation that um, raises monies to benefit the community. And so thank you not only for being a successful business, but also giving back uh, to the community. So um, God bless you and we uh, wish you continued success and growth in, um, in what you do and what the services you provide in our community. So let's give a Walker Chiropractic and Wellness Center right a round of applause. Now our next category is Community Service Award. And I'll tell you, if you are ever in need of a burning in your soul or a 
a, a, a nice, fervent prayer over your life and whatever challenges you may have. Or maybe perhaps you are a member of a church that you occasionally may nod off and fall asleep. Well, like, trust me, this next recipient's um, house of worship is a place that not only feeds the soul, yes. But it feeds the community and is a beacon in our community in the city of Miramar. Uh, they're always so supportive in the city of Miramar, not only to our residents, but partners with the city of Miramar on many opportunities. And we're so happy to have them in our city. Um, so I would like to honor and recognize the Community and Service Award to Power of Faith Ministry. And the Community Service Award honor is in recognition of a person or entity who voluntarily works to serve and service various initiatives within the local community. The 2019 Planning Committee recognizes that the Power of Faith Ministries contribution exemplifies these ideas, not because they work for recognition or even honor. But they do it because they're being obedient to the great commandment to be fishers of men, to feed those who are hungry, to mend those who are broken, and to step in the gap when the gap is too broad to jump. So we thank Power of Faith Ministries. And we would like to ask our dear friend, to come forward. If you can invite your wife, everyone you want to bring forward, the family, Power of Faith Ministries, because we know everyone goes to church. No one stays home on Monday and Wednesday night service and Friday night service. So if you can come forward to receive Power of Faith Ministries. And it is led by Pastor Hutchinson and First Lady Hutchinson. And we are just so thankful for all that you do um, in the community. Congratulations. Y'all act like y'all know each other. Get a little color. All right, here we go. All right. Mm. Don't mind. All right. Thank you. Wait, everybody, come back, please. Yes, let's stand together on this. It is with great honor and privilege that I stand here this evening to acknowledge the Honorable Mayor Wynn Nessam, his family, the city commissioners that works along with him, the city manager, the, ch the police chief, and all the workers, and all the, all the residents of Burmar. We just want to acknowledge you tonight. And thank you very much for bestowing this honor on us, the Power of Faith Ministries. Eight years ago, when we came into the city of Burmar, we came set out on a path to be an asset to the community, not a liability. And from day one, we have begun the work of building the historic side of Miramar. And we partnered with the mayor and the city on various initiatives uh, to which we see the benefits and the profits from it. And we pledge that we will continue to serve the community by the grace of God. As you know, we are a religious um, institution and we know that we are led by the Lord. And I want to thank the residents and the mayor for really receiving us and accepting us and thank God for allowing us to work together. God bless you. God bless you. And congratulations again, the honor well deserved. Yes. Our third category is in the area of culture and entertainment. The Culture and Entertainment Award honor is in recognition of an individual or group serving the Jamaican communities and families nationally and internationally by supporting, 
promoting, producing, or, and the marketing of cultural community events. The 2019 Planning Committee recognizes that this esteemed organization's contribution for its promotions, its radio broadcast programs, its television programs, exemplifies these ideas. And as such, the committee has chosen Rhythms Marketing for this esteemed honor to be recognized at today's event. We'd like to call forward Eddie and Bridget Edwards to receive their recognition. And as they come forward, just a few weeks ago, we had a press event at the Miramar Amphitheater because the city of Miramar will be the new home of Jerkfest. So, yes. so we're very proud to have not only Jerkfest here, but we're also proud to have Eddie and Bridget as residents of the city of Miramar. So yes, so yes, so congratulations again on all that you do. Almost every cultural event or Caribbean event that comes to the South Florida community, they may have a part in it either in terms of productions or perhaps even advertising and marketing of the event. So they are ingrained into our culture. They're ingrained into providing entertainment and culture to the South Florida community. And you work so hard and sometimes you never, you know, even pause to even think about that you're really ingrained into the culture of South Florida. Because you notify us, you bring great entertainment here in the city of Miramar. You brought many uh, performers and performances here and productions here. So thank you so much for, for playing a part to making Miramar the city uh, that it is. And congratulations again. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, the committee. Thank you to the city of Miramar. You know, I sat there, and as the commission was up here, and it was all Jamaican, I remember back in 1987, I used to be part of a partnership of a club by the name of Stingers. Yeah. Thank you very much. We look forward. We appreciate this 100%, and we're just continue to do what we do. Thank you so much. One more time for Rhythms Marketing. Eddie and Bridget Edwards. And our final category, but definitely not least, in fact, um, this category is so essential to the legacy as well as to the ongoing sustainability of the community and our next category is the education award the education award honor is in recognition of ones of jamaican heritage who have worked audaciously to promote encourage and support students educators and our administrators in the education field and the 2019 Planning Committee recognizes that this organization's ongoing contribution through the new Mirrorwood Academy exemplifies these ideals and as such have chosen to recognize you as part of this Jamaica Emancipendence event. And we would like to invite Drs. Ray and Joy Gordon up to receive the Education Award. Now, I know there were some jokes uh, that, that came across uh, against our, our neighbors to the east in West Park, but Mirrorwood is located right across the street in the city of West Park. And most of their students... <laughs> And most of their students that are enrolled in Mirrorwood, in Mirrorwood Academy, are Miramar children. So, 
we thank you for doing what is perhaps the most critical part of moving our community forward. And that is pouring into the lives of our young children every day, teaching them arithmetic, grammar, science, arts, all of the curriculum that you provide, but most important, the values of being a good citizen. That's what's most important. And thank you for pouring into our children's lives every day. And we know it's not easy. We know it's not easy because they leave our homes and go to your place of education and you nurture them and you build them up and you're giving them the foundation so that they can be the leaders that we need them to be. So thank you so much for your contribution and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It is indeed an extraordinary and great honor to represent New Mirror Academy. And by the way, at 21 years, we are doing this. Hey. Ah! 21 years we have been serving. And by the way, we, we, we transport children from six elementary schools, four of those schools on a daily, daily basis are from Miramar. So the majority of students we have been serving for the last 21 years are from the great city of Miramar. And it's an honor because education is the foundation. If this does for gonna last and gonna make an impact, education has to be part of the equation. Thank you, Miramar. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, the council. And uh, Dr. Joe here is the backbone of the New Mirror Academy that has made it what it is. Thank you very much. Irie. Wow, so congratulations again to all of the honorees. And every year it just gets, you know, it's just grander and grander when you think about the accomplishments of everyone that is honored and to see you know our neighbors who live right amongst us that are doing such wonderful things throughout the city of Miramar in South Florida and we cannot be uh, more proud and this is what it is all about there's so much negativity in the community but this is what it is all about because there's more positivity than negativity and that's why we must shine light on it and celebrate ourselves and celebrate our culture and we'd like to congratulate everyone again so uh, that concludes the presentation of awards and now I'll turn over the balance of the program to our master of ceremony judge Hemi well, wasn't that wonderful and I don't know if you saw the, the line that was happening here with all the award recipients this evening uh, Eddie Edwards will tell you that Stinger Lounge, all the, the former Stinger Lounge um, people are all Church of God members like you, Pastor. No, seriously! They were said to me and that faith. I tell you, you might have some of them at your church as well. So, so, so here's the line that you will see um, in all the award recipients here this evening. If you send your children to Mirrorwood Academy to be educated, they would grow up and go to the best university in the world. At that time when they go away, they will go to places um, that are promoted by people like Stinger's Lounge and Eddie Edwards and Rhythm's Marketing. And at some point, they will get into trouble and they will make their way to faith. All right? And after they make their way to faith, one day while in the Holy Spirit, they'll fall down and they'll be in need of chiropractic care. Put their hands together for all four of our award recipients. This is our wonderful and perhaps the hardest working council general in all of the world. And, and I think we all can say that the Miami Consulate Office, we have been blessed here in South Florida with some very strong, strong CGs over the years. Everyone strong in their own right. But Mr. Mayor, 
has not only come in gracefully, seamlessly, but with flair. And we thank you so much for all that you do to the community. And we'd like to give you an opportunity to extend greetings on behalf of the council office. Thank you, Mr. C.G. Thank you very much, Mayor. Let me tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I just want to say happy emancipation to everybody. I was in Houston just a week ago. And I, I, I called my wife and said, honey, when you're coming, when you're coming back up from Jamaica, please bring me a pretty, bashy, wicked, stylish, turn up the place, Jamaica tie. So when I step forward into the place, a man must know that the Jamaican colors are showing. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, how many people in the room are just so proud to be Jamaican? If you're proud to be Jamaican, I encourage you to attend as many events as possible. We're proud of you, sir. Proud of the work we're doing. We're proud of all our elected officials. And I just want to say one love to everybody. Thank you. One more applause for Mr. C.G. Oliver Bear. To make your way to the dance floor and shake a leg with me this evening. Is that all right? Yeah. Willie and friends, put your hands together for the best. One.
I don't want to end up like 